From high atop Healthcare Hill in Central Maryland, this is BSN Headline News. Today's top story is St. Mary's Hospital in Richmond, Virginia goes live with Connect Care. Connect Care, part of Clinical Transformation, went live Sunday, October 31st, 2010, and by all accounts, this go live went without a hitch. Indeed, according to Tony Artevel, CEO of Bon Secours St. Mary's Hospital, the go live was world class. Bon Secours Connect Care is an integrated system that makes it possible to link all clinical information in one record. It also provides leading clinical practices and information to enhance our ability to provide superior care and services to our patients and physicians, resulting in enhanced operating performance and outcomes. To date, ConnectCare has been deployed in a number of facilities across the system, including acute and ambulatory care settings, the most recently at St. Mary's Hospital in Richmond, Virginia. Connect Care is part of a larger initiative we refer to as clinical transformation. What is clinical transformation? Well, clinical transformation is a comprehensive interdisciplinary approach to redesign care delivery to achieve excellence throughout the care continuum. It will measurably improve quality, create holistic patient and resident-centered care experiences, and reduce health care costs by reducing waste, variance, and duplication. The Center for Clinical Excellence is the framework that brings about this redesign through effective alignment of people, process, and technology, and Connect Care certainly fits that bill. But why is Bon Secours so focused on Connect Care and clinical transformation? Clinical transformation enables us to provide our patients and residents with evidence-based, extraordinary care and world-class service. It enables us as providers to partner with our patients, residents, and families in innovative ways through the use of technology and by creating leaders of care across the continuum. Our collaborative focus on clinical transformation ensures that we can deliver on our promise of good help by inspiring change and creating innovation for our future. And Connect Care is a tool to help us on that journey. Please join us in congratulating Bon Secours St. Mary's Hospital on a successful go live of Connect Care. In other news, on October 25th and October 29th at St. Francis Health System East Side and Downtown, respectively, Bon Secours St. Francis Health System in Greenville, South Carolina, held a clinical transformation end of year party to celebrate a championship year in clinical transformation. For details, we now turn to the entire team in South Carolina to tell us what it's all about. Well, welcome to our clinical transformation end of year party to celebrate our championship year in clinical transformation. Our event today is our fourth quarter show, our touchdown show, and actually our kickoff also for 2011. This is to celebrate our clinical transformation. Uh, our teams, we have had 14 teams that have been working all year and um, we've had great results and our signs represent what we've done for the patients not the dollars and the cents but how we've affected patients lives and the impact we've had on our patients here at st francis over the last year so every team has a t-shirt and in front is ask me about and then the back is our number and our number indicates, um, my particular number is that we saved 220 ED visits from leaving the department without treatment. And every team captain has a number, and Denise is the falls, and she prevented, her team prevented 58 falls um, from the previous physical year. Ask me about 84. My number is 84, 84 less infections in 2010 than in 2009. We prevented 84 patients from getting a hospital-acquired infection. We've reduced ventilator days by two days. And that's for all ventilated patients in St. Francis last year. Two whole days. We've reduced our pressure ulcers for fiscal year 10 by two. We had 33 fewer surgical complications because of our efforts with clinical transformation. Hi, I'm Jennifer McCaird and I'm an OR nurse at St. Francis and we transfused 1,023 fewer units of blood through our efforts of clinical transformation. 
but we are really want to celebrate the accomplishments of all of our employees who pulled together to make clinical transformation a reality here. Bon Secours St. Francis in Greenville, South Carolina. Proof that clinical transformation is alive and well and providing a model of excellent quality care that is all about the patient. Finally, November 7th through the 13th, this week, is Fraud Awareness Week. What is Fraud Awareness Week? Well, Fraud Awareness Week is a week-long campaign encouraging business leaders and employees to proactively take steps to minimize the impact of fraud by promoting anti-fraud awareness and education. Now, that's the official line, but what exactly does that mean and how can you participate? For answers to those questions, we turn to Brian Neiman, Vice President, Internal Audit. I'm Brian Neiman. I'm the Vice President of Internal Audit, and I work at the Health System Office. There's an organization called the, the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners. It's a worldwide professional association, and really their mission as an organization is to create awareness about fraud uh, to, to organizations throughout the, throughout the world. And, uh, but also, as part of that awareness campaign, enlighten organizations about what things can be done to prevent fraud as well. It's important to Bon Secours because, you know, within any organization, unfortunately from time to time, the event of fraud does occur. And we believe it's important, Dave, because um, when we think about who we are what, in the ministry, we're, he we're here to provide good help to those in need. Fundamentally, that means providing wonderful care to our patients. And when we have those examples from time to time where fraud might occur, um, the effect of that eventually has an impact on our patients because we have less resources to provide care to them. And I think there's a lot of different interpretations of what fraud is versus what it's not. The, the definition around it in a very generic way is using someone within an organization, using their influence uh, and role to, ha to gain a personal benefit at the expense of the organization. I think some common examples, probably the most common example that would come to mind is the example of embezzlement where people are diverting assets for, to, for their own personal use. But other examples ha could occur from time to time as well, and that would include people using their position to uh, sell inf confidential information about BSHE to outside parties, i.e. competition to our competitors, or uh, using their position where they, where they have the authority to engage vendors outside of Bon Secours, and through that, through that relationship and engagement, they're actually gaining some type of financial benefit back directly from the vendor because of the role within the organization. What about Medicare and Medicaid? Does that come into play at all for us? That's a great example, I, and the answer is yes. Um, as, we, as we all can appreciate, healthcare is a heavily regulated business, and uh, specifically when we think about the federal government and even the state governments, um, and those agencies we work with in terms of them being a, being a payer resource for us, depending on the, the, the because of the care we provide to either Medicare or Medicaid beneficiaries, there's some very strict expectations they would offer that's manifested by laws that would say there are things we should be doing in terms of uh, claim submission, um, the timeliness of those claim submission, and to the extent we, we could be perceived as uh, be presenting claims that are um, misstated or erroneous, there's a risk those could be perceived as fraud. And we as an organization could incur um, fines and penalties around that as well. So, Fraud Awareness Week is uh, November the 7th through the 13th. What's the message we want to get out to everybody about Fraud Awareness Week? Yeah, well, I, I, think, I think for me, Dave, the message is, you know, when we recognize who we are as an organization, what our mission's all about, fundamentally we're here to care for our patients. And we want to make sure that all, all, those, all those things we do each and every day, we can do it to the best of our ability. So it's really all about stewardship. What can, things can we put in place to really continue to support that notion of stewardship and mitigate the risk of things that shouldn't be happening that they don't happen at all? And one example of that would be fraud. Stewardship takes place every day at every level of the organization. And you can do your part by being aware and taking action when necessary. To find out more about Fraud Awareness Week, go to www.fraudweek.com. Well, that's it for this week. Oh, don't forget to enroll in FSA. Open enrollment is going on now through November 12th, 2010. Well, that really is it this week. Stay tuned to this portal for future up-to-the-minute information on these and other stories on BSN Headline News. I'm Dave Schlachter. 
Thanks for joining us. BSN Headline News is a production of Bomb Support Productions and is solely responsible for its content.